morning. Good morning. Day five, Friday, August 18th, 2023. We're all packed up. It's a bit chilly this morning. The sun isn't going to hit here for a while. But as we get closer to the pass, the sun's been on the pass for an hour or two. So we're going to start the climb. Up we go. <laughs> Up we go. So according to some stuff we've read, the trail is gonna take us over that waterfall. So that's where we're headed initially. Right, day five we made it to the sun the sun it feels pretty good so i showed you another video we're gonna somehow the trail's gonna go up and over that waterfall so that's where we're kind of aiming um we just got off a big snow field behind us but looks like we're gonna have rocks for a while so we took off the spikes and kind of keeping our eyes open for the trail we're like right near it around it somewhere so We'll probably find it at some point as we keep climbing but yeah it's a great like perfect weather to do a climb like this because it's yeah. not like scorching hot there's a breeze there's a breeze and um the views are amazing spectacular. i was looking at the view and slipped in the sofa <laughs> and as you can see i'm like taking videos every like couple of minutes it seems <laughs> like just quick 10 second videos because the views just keep so good it's great so check in later We are back on the trail for the moment. We pretty much just went above the snow field. The trail was pretty much in the snow field for about, I guess, a mile or so. So still curious how we're gonna get up and over this thing. Stay tuned.
This is pretty amazing. Just to give a little perspective of where we came from this morning. We were camped down at the far end of those grove of trees. There somewhere. Whew. Probably, if I had to guess, a mile and a half to two miles. Basically traversed just above the snow field. The trail is like right along the snow. And now, we're almost at the top of the waterfall. Got some switchbacks. It's just a glorious Friday morning. <laughs> Spectacular. Woo! All right, let's keep climbing. So, there's a lot of runoff on the trail from snowmelt, but it's one of those situations where the views are so amazing. You don't even care about wet feet. It's worth the wet feet. All right, we made it to the top of the falls. We're putting on our Crocs um, out of an abundance of caution. I mean, it looks pretty well snow bridged above the water, but there's no need to take any unnecessary chances. We can just put on Crocs and hop right on over to the other side. So that's what we're gonna do. And there may be more micro spike snow up ahead. Not quite sure yet, but one thing at a time. And then look at this view going down into uh, the valley. That's pretty good. Okay, so Brian's going first in case I need a hand across to see if the rocks are slippery. I usually go first, but I just want to see what it's like. I'm guessing the water's lower than in the afternoon. Uh, often that happens, but you never know. So, he's across. All right, we're still not done climbing yet. Now we have to get up and over Elizabeth Pass and we're thinking the trail is up here somewhere. We shall see.
All right, so we lost the trail in the snow a while ago. So we've just been following this rock shelf. And I'm pretty sure the pass is there. So that's where we're headed. Okay, Elizabeth Pass update. We're on hopefully our final approach. The trail is covered in snow. So the game plan is to just go up this angle somewhere, get on the rocks above here, and then way over those two snow patches, the little ones, are the trail, the switchbacks, and up and over the pass. So still got some work to do, but we're getting closer. All right, part one is done. We came from those rocks down there, worked our way up the snow field, now we're in this rock field and we're just going to kind of traverse straight across, not gaining a ton of elevation because the rocks are pretty much garbage here and eventually hook up with the switchbacks. We made it up that pretty cool. All right, we made it to the top of Elizabeth Pass. <laughs> We're testing these microphones because this is pretty windy up here. So um, I'm even going to move a little bit away from Sarah. It was such a big climb, but it was worth it. The views are amazing. They really are. So came up a big snowfield over here. We're losing our views of uh, Dead Man Canyon and all the rest. Um, I was over at Elizabeth Lake yesterday, which is going to be... Not Elizabeth Lake, Big Bird Lake. Uh, Big Bird Lake, sorry. We're on Elizabeth, Elizabeth Pass. So, pretty amazing up here. Um, 
and we're just recording because I'm just really curious how the uh, microphones deal with the wind. So that's all for now. We're not going to stay up here too long because it's a little bit cloudy and it's windy. So it's a bit, a bit brisk up here. I put my hat back on. The temperature is showing as 61, which doesn't sound bad, but then you add the wind and the cloud cover and it probably feels more like the low 50s right now. So, haven't seen anyone today. The ground change as we lose some elevation and get back into this valley. So, the, this has been, uh, the views today have been really spectacular. So, anything else to add before we wrap this up? No. <laughs> okay. See you later. Let's hope these mics work. Okay, so we were just looking at this tarn over here and Sarah noticed smoke. So, that's slightly concerning, but uh, as we get lower down, I guess we'll see what that smoke is. Stay tuned. Trip. Yeah. All right, well, let's go see what Mr. Deer's up to.
All right, day five update. Well, we had a little oopsie. Um, just because you're coming down from a pass doesn't mean the trail goes down the whole way. And it's not really a well-defined trail. So Sarah is, maybe you can make her out down there, about 400 feet below me. And the trail is right here. So we are off course and we got a bit of climbing to do. And there's some really um, tight switchbacks coming up according to the topo map. So we wanna make sure we're on the trail because we there's probably only one safe way to get down the cliff. So I scout it because something was off. I gotta go back down, get my backpack and then we gotta log our backpacks 400 feet up this. It's not too bad, but bummer. our pass. Should we try it first? Day five. It's a little after five in the afternoon. We've got camp set up not too far from the trail junction where we came down, just in the trees. We've got these amazing waterfalls behind us to lull us to sleep, which is awesome. There are some gray clouds up there. We did feel a couple drops of rain, but nothing um, heavy, so. Maybe we'll get a little rain, maybe we won't. But whew, big day of adventure, all kinds of challenges. And we're both feeling pretty beat right now. So time to get some beverages going and um, just relax. But man, yeah, look at, if we go, just walk a little bit down the trail uh, where Sarah is, you can see the pass we came down. Um, but here's a view of what we got from the campsite. Big day, huh? Big day! <laughs> I just want to get one shot of the pass and then oh, yeah. I'm going to hop in the tent. Me too. So here's some perspective. There's our tent. There's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. There's the waterfalls I just showed you. And then if we swing back around, there is the pass we were up on today. Elizabeth Pass, pretty cool. So, an awesome Friday, and that might be it for us for today. We will see you in the morning. <laughs> so, just looked at um, the topo map, and we're going to have nap time soon, which is nice. Um, where we started today at our campsite, we were at around 90... 100, 90, 200 feet. So Elizabeth Pass was 11,300 or something. So we climbed 2,000 feet to get to, up to Elizabeth Pass. I just looked at where we are right now. Down, we down, dropped 3,000 feet. So that's why we're so tired. We had 5,000 feet of elevation change 
in relatively short miles. In eight or nine miles, I think it was total. And it took us all day? Yeah, well, We had because, some off-trail adventures. Yeah, we didn't have any trail for a lot of it. We had snow. That we True. It was just lots of cool adventures. Yes. And then um, coming down from the pass, we um, you, your mind just kind of goes into, all right, we're going down the pass. We're losing a ton of elevation. Down, down, down. Well, guess what? The trail at some point went up, up, up. <laughs> And we missed it. it. Um, but it was fine. We figured it out. That's, you know, you always got to have your trail sense out here. And if yep. something doesn't, like, feel right or look right, you should really just, you got to stop and really try and figure it out. Because that saves you getting into a really bad situation. Um, we could have clipped out easily if we kept going. were just blindly just going down. So, but that's from years of doing this. You kind of... If your spidey sense goes off, take a minute and figure it out. But now it's awesome, Mom. We're all comfy cozy. We didn't quite make it to where we were hoping. We wanted to get to Hamilton Lake. There's just no way that was no happening. Um, so I think we were going to lose more elevation and then have to climb. Yeah. Yeah, just just not having like that switchbacky trail going up for a good chunk of it. Um, you just have to always kind of make sure you're kind of on the right path. So it just slows you down a bit, that's all. Yeah. But that's why we have all this wiggle room built into these trips. I mean, we've got a, 11 nights planned, so we definitely have wiggle room to um, modify our plans, mm -hmm. which is what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, and we still saw a little smoke, but nothing major. So we're hoping that the fire was put out or... A controlled burn. A controlled maybe? burn. I mean, who knows? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we definitely saw it, and you know, in the videos you saw the smoke, and at some point smelled it for a yeah. very short time. Yeah, but now it's like we're in a place where you think you would see more of it, and we don't. So we feel yeah. pretty comfortable with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, if there's anything super serious, I'm sure they have like helicopters or right. patrolling rangers in here. So that's that. That'll be it for day five. Um, We'll see you in the morning for day six, and I don't know. We're going to figure we it out. Figure out where time. we're going tomorrow. Figure out where we would like to go and where we end up. Who knows? Maybe we'll sleep in tomorrow.